Welcome to another Design with Joe video. I'm Joanne Rogers, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Central Alberta, Canada, and I've been designing with you in mind since 1999. Today I've got a really quick Joe tip for you. One that I think will help you clean uh, some of your images, some of your scissors, and some of your blocks so that they're nice and clean and not sticky. It's how we can use some of the liquid refill that you might have seen uh, come in the last year. Uh, and it's the really liquidy stuff, not the one that's a little bit more viscous. And so what I do is I take one of our Stampin' Spritzers and I fill it up with this liquid. And you wanna just be sort of careful when you're putting it in there. If you need to use something to, to get it in, but I usually can fill it up fairly quick. And you want to fill it pretty close to the top. It will dry. So I did drop some down there, but it will dry because it is alcohol. And then you can use that in a bunch of different ways. So I have some uh, stickiness on my um, scissors. So I'm now just going to take my spritzer and I'm just going to spray that on top of them and then go in just with a paper towel and clean them off. And that glue should come right off because of the amount of alcohol that's in there. And they'll shine it up too as, a, as an added benefit. Just be careful with your scissors. They are sharp, of course, especially the paper snips. They last and they keep their uh, sharpness for a long time. I've had these ones probably about 15 years and they still uh, cut really, really well. So that's one thing you can do with it. The other is that you can take your acrylic blocks and you can just spray it on there. You can rub it with your hands if you want, but I just take a paper towel and rub that right off. And I do have some other uh, alcohol that is really quite strong. It's Everclear that you can get in the liquor store, but this is a little bit less expensive and it works just as well and it's, um, it's perfectly safe. So there's two things that you can do with your stamp and spray and your alcohol. I would now put just a label on here or write on it that it's alcohol so that you don't mix it up with your water. So I hope you enjoy that tip and it's one that you can use really quickly to uh, keep things clean and sanitized as well as stick free. And if you've got a paper crafting question that you'd like the answer to, please drop me a line at joe at designwithjoe.ca and let's see if we can't get that figured out. If you're not yet on my mailing list, hop on over to www.designwithjoe.ca and get yourself signed up. I send tips and tricks every week in my email, something just like this so that it can make your paper crafting life just a little bit easier. Thanks very much. Have a great paper crafting day.